How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Elvis Junction Reviews. Today we're looking at another steam locomotive by Bachman. It is a Alco 260 for Atchison, Topeka and Santa Fe number 9444. Here it is in its box and we're just gonna, it's a Bachman and it's DCC ready. This came out, I want to say, um, at least like four years ago, maybe five. I'm gonna pull her out here. And there she is. We have a little, um, we have an instruction manual here, along with a warranty. They are in, that's their address, so if you want to go bug them and annoy them, uh, go ahead and do that. Pause the video so you can write that down. So we have a, just in some instructions, like braking period, lubrication, maintenance. And we have, and here is our diagram of the actual locomotive here. Shows us basically everything, all the detail, all the, all the pieces in it. And yeah, what is this? I don't know what this is. Is this like a thing saying thank you for... This is all in a language I don't know. Let's try the other one. This, yep. <clears throat> this one has English on it. This is a 90-day limited warranty. Now, effective January 1st, 2003. Wow. <laughs> when is the copyright on this? I don't know. Um, is there a copyright on here? I don't think there is. Yeah, there's no copyright on here, so. Either this is from 2003, I, I highly doubt that. But anyway, let's get our locomotive out of the out of its little protective shell here. Oh my god, oh, that's tape. And, oh, come on, and out she is. Let's move this off to the side, and we will get into a bit of, well, more like, stats and facts about this locomotive. Alrighty, now on to some history, I suppose. Well, there's a little bit. I couldn't tell you yet, I couldn't give you a straight answer if I told, if this locomotive was an actual locomotive. I'm not sure. Now, this locomotive was probably built in the 1890s when steam was, where, when finally American railroads were getting away from the 440 American. They were getting into 260s and 280s, consolidation types. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to start looking at some details here, and let's start with the front. Alrighty, we are kind of looking at the front of the locomotive here, so we're going to start our way from the top and work our way down to the bottom, as we always do. At the top here, we have our smokestack with our headlight. This is not as big as the 060 that I previously reviewed in another video. The link will be in the description. Actually, it will be up at the top right corner if you want to check out that video. Uh, we're here on the front of the boiler. We have the number plate as well as the actual boiler door that does not open. We have a, a half circle grab iron here on the bottom of the of the boiler here. Working our way down here, you can see the front of the pistons behind our big coupler holder. Here is our coupler cut bar that also rotates It moves. We have a lovely cow catcher here. You have to keep in mind this locomotive was probably going through the Great Plains of Kansas so and the bison were still around so they would have had to have that cow catcher to be careful so that nothing went underneath the locomotive and finally we have our Bachman easy mate coupler with the fake air hose uh, feature on the front all right let's move on to the rear now when I say rear I technically really mean the tender now the tender is very very basic it's just got a few things on here. Maybe have some. We have some walk steps here. We have a. We also have. There's another coupler cut bar down here. We have some grab irons right here leading up to where the water tank is. The water tank hatch is right here. We also have our little backup. We have our backup reverser um, headlight here, and you can just see the coal load right here, which I can actually flip like that. There is our coal load, and there is the water tank hatch. All right, let us move on to some side detail. Now, the side detail, there's a lot more to see here on this locomotive than my little 060 that I, that we previously reviewed. Uh, starting off from the top here, we have sand domes and steam domes along with a bell, doesn't does not move. There's a whistle over here. We have some a grab iron here that runs all the way across the boiler. Here's our cab, once again, no windows in the on the cab here. This does not move, unfortunately. <clears throat> We have our six main drive wheels along with our pistons and side rods here. I don't remember what this is. I don't remember the name of it. You can also see the brakes detail right here. There's our brakes there. 
Um, I need someone to explain to me what this is because I'm not an expert on steam engine um, like parts and all that. I'm more of a diesel guy. So if you could please let me know what this probably is, I would greatly appreciate that. All right, so let's get into my final thoughts. So this locomotive is, it's good. It's not great, but it's good. It can handle at least four to five cars with no problem, uh, especially like heavyweight cars that I've had it run in the past. I have a Atherton Roundhouse uh, set of uh, six axle heavyweight Santa Fe coaches. But anyway, the only problem I had was this bogey, the, the lead bogey would uh, like to derail if I ever tried to uh, put it through a, a switches. If it was going on the straight switch, it would be fine. But if, if I tried to turn, make it go onto a different uh, track, it would derail. And then and that wasn't fun. But anyway, I paid around like $120, I believe, for this locomotive when I bought this back in ooh, 2020, I want to say. But it still, it looks great and it runs great. Runs like a little, little speed demon. But anyway, so if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and also subscribe if you have not. Um, there will be more videos in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.